Hi all, my name is Tamara Renee of Body Lab La Jolla. Today we are going to talk about lumps, bumps, and body shame. So I'll try to go through my notes as quick as I possibly can. I never want to forget anything, so I always do notes. I don't want, I want to give you all the gems that I've got in here and all of the delights that I'm experiencing in my body and life, I want to share with you. So please be patient with me in these notes. But anyhow, lumps, bumps, and body shame, right? What's the first thing that really binds us together with no one immune to it is pain. Whether it's physical pain in our body or whether it's emotional pain about how our body feels or looks, none of us are immune. And so today I wanna to talk with you about how to identify your pain and how to relieve your body of it, whether it be physically, emotionally, but what's available for you. So I'm honored to share with you today. I've been honored and also been able to work with Dr. Jess. I've been able to share with her some of my passions. Like really my expertise is developing programs that help you release old stuck energy in your body, both physically and mentally, which also might be emotionally, right? To increase your mobility in your body and allow for your body to help itself heal itself. So that's the goal from today, right? Is for you to walk away with gems and how to restore your natural body's energy and its ability to heal itself. So I'm an expert in energy. I, what I've done is I've created programs that are personalized that help people with their mobility and their personalized nutrition so that their body is strong enough to actually do the work on its own. So it has been such a blessing to have these tools and this education myself. I'll give you a little bit of background about me. I was 50, excuse me, 68 pounds overweight. Seriously, grossly insecure and really struggling with my self-worth and confidence. And as I learned and grew and developed and tried these tried and true tools. I've actually gotten professional education now and been able to pair that educational, personal experience and modern day science, some really innovative tools to help my body heal itself, right? 50, what am I, 57 now? And I cannot believe how good I feel. I'm so I just feel so grateful for all that I know and all that I've been able to figure out, piece together like that puzzle, and now I get to share it with you. With Dr. Jess, I was able to create more flow of energy for her. I was able to increase her mobility while smoothing out some lumps and bumps. And you know for us women, that's huge. We do have a lot of our emotional well-being and mental well-being associated with our looks. That's our culture here. It is what it is. It's okay. You're human. Be human. Don't try to fix it. Just try to be, make you as healthy and happy as possible. The happier you are, the happier you can make other people. The more you've got to share and love on, up on other people. So I was able to open her own body to help it heal itself, like I did with mine. After I had released my 68 pounds, I still had this enormous amount of pain, but couldn't really identify what was going on. Also, my body was building with lumps and bumps. I was thin. You put me in clothes, I was looking good. However, I was getting more cellulite pockets. I was getting weird, thick areas of my body building, like cankles and big, thick calves, but I had no understanding why. I was eating by my personalized health program, DNA Me Experience. My energy was feeling good, but my pain was not. And me being such a curious bird and love to solve problems, that was eating away at me. So I continued my search. I continued my education. I continued trial and error. I kept looking for modalities and information and science that could lead me to where I'm at today, which is pain-free and where I'm hoping to get you at. Let's do this, okay? So 
Does anyone know what even fascia is? What is fascia? How come we don't know about it? It is a program or system that goes throughout our entire body. It actually is a continuous system and it actually wraps around every single nerve, muscle fiber, bone, through your over your blood and your lymphatic system. Every single part of our body is encapsulated in it. So if we're thinking, if something is so um, dramatically dense in our body, why don't we understand it more? Did you know it was not even discovered and put in a medical journal until 2006? 2008 was our next medical journal entry about it. It is a web type system through our whole entire body. It is, con it is included in our connective tissue system. So with that ability to actually cover our whole system as individual systems, preparing it to slide and move against each other, stay hydrated and mobile, communicate all of the different communications our body needs to go through in order to conduct itself properly in the day, okay? So let's think about this. If we've got something up here and we move on it, you see how it's tugging here and see how it's even moving? It moves in the whole entire body. If it's not moving right, say it's not moving right. Like I have a little cloth. I'm gonna stick this cloth in my pocket. So if I have got fascia, part of our connective tissue system with these uh, scar tissue or restrictions, adhesions, and I try to put this in, right? It's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna flow anywhere. It's not going to move anywhere. It's going to be stuck right there. Now it's gonna start making these corners pocket weird. Here's our lumps and bumps, right? So not only are we getting the restrictions and the adhesions and the immobility, but we're actually forming a body that we don't even like how it looks. I was an endurance athlete. So I actually turned, once I turned the corner and taught myself how to live well and how to eat right based on my own DNA me experience, I was able to actually perform at high levels in endurance running, marathon training. The problem was I still wasn't forming right and I still wasn't feeling right. I was so perplexed. How is my body building thick in some weird areas? How come I'm not getting the mobility even though I'm doing all of my stretching, all of my foam rolling, I'm doing all of my Pilates, I'm doing my Epsom salt baths really. Why aren't I getting the relief in my body and increasing my mobility, increasing my circulation, which also means collagen and elastin production? Why wasn't my body moving right and feeling right, even though I was giving it such immense care and personalized care to my own, to myself, eating right for me, not eating right for the latest trend. So let's talk about what actually makes fascia healthy, okay? Fascia, remember, it's part of our connective tissue system. I've gotten a little out of sorts here, just give me one moment. So if it's healthy, it's going to move and slide all over our body. If it's unhealthy, it is going to have more restrictions, adhesions, and immobility. A lot of things that cause that is dehydration, poor posture, misuse, and overuse. When I say poor posture, I'm talking about sitting, standing, sleeping, walking, all of that. All of those things are so important because what happens, we get this ingrained way of responding our body adapts and adopts we don't want it to if it's unhealthy so also injury could do that bump against a wall tripping on a, a rock anything it doesn't have to be major also poor sleep habits so our body's kind of in a state of stress any stress mental emotional physical if we're not breathing well we cannot keep our fascia healthy, gliding against each other. So then we start getting this sticky fascia that is bound and stopping mobility and glide. 
then it starts leading to distortions like lumps and bumps and everything in our fascia looking like cellulite or thick areas like saddlebags, um, love handles, big thick shoulders and um, bulky arms, right? On and on. And also poor quality foods. If we're not eating the right amount of protein, if we're not having the right amount of minerals, the right amount of vegetables or fruits that our body actually requires as its individual self, not as a one size fits all program, how can your body recover completely and be healthy? Can't, it can't. It needs your personalized formula. So some of the gems, to teach you how to improve your your fascia. You can come see me. Otherwise, hydrate. Half your body weight in ounces of water. Correct your posture. I'm excellent at assessing posture because I have found that that was the number one thing that I worked on that was different from the healthy lifestyle I was already living to help my lumps and bumps and mobility. Fascia therapy, there's different types like gua sha, fascia blasting, cupping. I blend them all in my practice, but you don't need to. Improvement is improvement. Helping your body gain momentum to heal, it will eventually heal itself. You will be surprised. Lymphatic therapies, trying to help pull the debris and the toxins while supporting our immune system. Fantastic. Infrared saunas, cryotherapy or cold therapy, even cold baths and showers. Adequate amount of sleep. There are certain people that are very sensitive circadian cycles and they need to make sure they go to sleep at the same time at night, every night. You might have that gene in your DNA. When I run my DNA report for the right diet for you, I also get all these gems about the lifestyle habits that you should be adopting or avoiding, things like that. So also stress management. We have to learn how to manage our stress or our body does not get stuck. Our fascia responds to physical stress, emotional and mental stress. Breathing well. If we're not breathing well, our fluids in our body cannot move. And our fascia gets stickier and stickier and stickier. So you can also get professional help. I'll assess you so we don't have to guess anymore. One of the things that I have done to relieve so many people of frustration in their lives is I test their bodies, not only for their fascia alignment and mobility and health, but also the right diet, the right exercise they need, the lifestyle ha um, habits that are paramount for your well-being. So, because at the end of the day, it's most important that we feel good. But we also want to look good. And I don't believe there is a one or the other. When you actually look really pretty or really good, but you feel like poop, you're probably not going to emulate a, a happy, healthy, vital, well-being person. And the gems that I love to give people is so that it gives you more energy, more vitality more self-love the more self-love and self-care i can teach you the more that you'll have available to give to others paying it forward right isn't that what it's all about in this lifetime feeling good and connecting well with yourself first and human beings next i've been blessed i've been absolutely blessed to be born on Valentine's Day. My heart goes out for everyone. I want everyone to have as much love and vitality for themselves. Today, I can help you. I've helped you with these gems and I also want to offer you a free assessment. I do complimentary assessments. I'll do it for you. Let's choose our own self and get your body right. Get your body healthy, vital, well, freer, so that you love the life you live in. 
My name is Tamara Renee, Body Lab La Jolla. My website is tamarareneglobal.com. Reach out. I'd love to be of service. We can escape lumps, bumps, body shame.